Now, is it the amendment to be agreed to? And I call the member for Warringah. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. Well, both sides of politics have spoken on this bill. Uh, I rise to speak on it as someone with a real understanding of some of the issues this bill is seeking to address. I very much know the importance of sport. It's absolutely been the cornerstone of my life since I was too young, really, to remember. To me, one of the key aspects of sport and sporting performance is, in fact, integrity. Because winning at all costs is not winning at all. It's actually how you win that really matters. I've had the privilege of representing Australia at four Winter Olympic Games and numerous World Championships and World Cup events. I've had the privilege of carrying the Australian flag at medal ceremonies, of standing on the dais listening to our anthem. It is amazing as an athlete to stand there representing your country. So it is incredibly important that we implement the recommendations of the Wood Review to safeguard integrity in Australian sport. As a, member of the, as a past member of the Court of Arbitration for Sport, I've also been involved when it comes to our fight against doping and the importance of keeping sport clean. There is nothing worse as an athlete than knowing that you've given it everything, that you've trained for so many hours, but knowing that you're not on an even playing field. Or to listen to the story of those people who have found themselves on the fourth or fifth place and missed out on the privilege of being on the dais because there's then been found to be drug cheats. I think we all uh, dislike and despair when those new allegations come out. And we can only continue and really focus on that fight to keep progressing our fight against the doping in sport. There is a new scourge in sport, though, and that's gambling. That also is having a huge impact on the integrity of sport and that faith we have when we watch sport and when we encourage our children to watch sport and look up to their sporting heroes. It absolutely needs to be monitored and absolutely uh, controlled and regulated and made sure that with this bill and these measures in terms of ensuring integrity that we absolutely go the full force of the law come down on any of those practices. What's interesting about sport though is it's not always about winning. It's actually we often, and we often miss those moments. It's the greatest acts of courage, where often it's not those who have won, but those that have displayed integrity and compassion, fair play and courage in the pursuit of excellent, excellence. And it's not always rewarded by standing on the dais with a medal. It's actually standing there maybe with a somebody else who has to pull out of a field or standing on the side of a race knowing you gave it everything and that you really stood by your principles. So I do find it slightly ironic that we're here today debating and discussing passing a bill in relation to integrity in sport. And it's, uh, the irony of it happening today is just, I think, quite priceless. I look at the efforts and all the lovely words that have been spoken in this place by members in relation to ensuring integrity in sport, and, and yet the complete lack of political will and effort to address the declining trust and integrity in our political systems. We are here to enact a National Integrity Commission in relation to sport, but we have no National Integrity Commission in relation to our politics and in relation to cor corruption. We have uh, the only model put forward so far by the government is one where they want to ensure that there be privacy, that they are opposing the idea that there be public hearings. I don't hear those same words by anybody in terms of athletes should be afforded privacy, that, for example, an athlete dragged through an integrity hearing would have their reputation dragged through the mud, but they would welcome being cleared and knowing that they're fully accountable to the Australian people. Yet I don't hear many people in this place, especially from the government side, standing up for that same standard to be applied to themselves. Sport with an integrity commission will ensure that it does hold, stand up and hold up to that regard we want it to. That regard, I, as a mother, I know I want my children to, look, to participate in sport because there are so many uh, skills and characteristics and it builds character, it builds resilience. You learn to have courage, you learn to give it a go, you learn to do your best and to hold yourself up to the best standard you possibly can. And it's so important that we hold sport up to that standard, but it is also so important that we hold this place up to a better standard. Why haven't we got an integrity commission like we are asking the athletes to have? Why haven't we got 
more support uh, and, and a clear address to the issues that we have when it comes to our integrity. The hypocrisy is just absolutely, it, it absolutely floors me. Uh, as someone who's new to this place, I came with a clear intent that I felt the Australian people deserve better. They deserve to know that we are working hard to raise the bar and make sure that we are holding up to a better standard. And that's what I will urge these, all the members of this parliament to do. We have to do better. Just as when we look at a national team that performs below par, and there's always plenty of armchair critics that say what they should have done and what they could have done, I think there are plenty of armchair critics looking at our performance at the moment and thinking we can do absolutely, we absolutely must do better. Think back to only a, few, a year ago, the scandal of our cricket team, the reaction around Australia at the idea of our national captain endorsing cheating. And they took it on the chin, they took the consequences, they stood down and they took a period of, um, of expulsion from the team. They are now back and performing well. And we can respect them for that because they took the consequences of their actions. What can we say about what happens in this place when we have events like today where decisions are made, where people are voting on they don't even know what they're voting? We know a deal was done, we know people are lying about it, but we don't even know what it was. One of the things that sports celebrates is actually compassion, being your better self. Is that really what we were being today when we were basically saying to people in detention that you do not have a right to medical attention, that we, our compassion is so short that we prefer to send you back and leave you indefinitely in detention? I, I have always been extremely proud to be Australian when I've competed internationally and I've really, uh, it's always meant a huge amount to me. But I must say on days like today, I was not proud, absolutely not proud to be a member of this place. So if winning, winning is everything, it means nothing. Uh, the importance of winning is actually how you win. It's about winning with integrity. And I can only urge everyone in this place to think on that and to try and be your better selves. We have to do better, as we're asking athletes to be better, to wipe out anti-doping and uh, hold them to account with integrity. We have to do the same for this place. Thank you.